Hey guys, I'm here with Laura. She's an actress in LA, former Miss Chinatown, and she's an LA native. Like, didn't she used to live right around here? I literally used to live two streets down. <laughs> I know this area pretty well around Melrose. Okay. Which is important for West Hollywood. Shops and restaurants. Speaking of restaurants, yep. we're about to try Crossroads, which I've never been to. Has I've never been, been to either. And it's a, an all vegan restaurant. And it's getting a lot of hype right now because they got this burger. It's called the Impossible Burger. And it's impossible because it's supposed to look like and taste like meat. Supposedly, when you bite into it, it even bleeds. This is the earliest I've ever woken up for a burger, but they sell out. They before sell noon. out before noon every day. They're limited. And I think they only have this burger in three places San Francisco, LA, and somewhere else. So, I mean, that's I saw it on the news. But let's check it out. Okay, let's start. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are with the Impossible Burger. Um, there's been a lot of buildup, huh? I feel a lot of pressure right now because there's been a lot leading up to this moment. Yeah, yeah, I've heard so many good <laughs> things about it. Now I have really high expectations. It even has a little flag that says Impossible. Mine says Crossroads. Oh no, and yeah. it says Impossible. So. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Well, personally, I love veggie burgers I okay. love if there's an option between veggie burgers and meat burgers I tend to choose the veggie option yeah so I'm actually excited to see if this tastes like meat. I do love a normal hamburger I think the real test today is like I'm looking for a the burger meat. that tastes like a burger besides the fact that it's supposed to like bleed and, and be similar to meat is that if it really could you know be beneficial for the environment and for mm -hmm. people's health that's mm -hmm. also a plus you know we have our pickles and we have our cheese and these are add-ons I guess the normal burger is without that. I think these are truffle fries. Most importantly, we have truffle fries. Are they good? Yeah, they're good. Here I go. It's pretty good. Uh -huh. It does have the texture of meat. Wow. Okay. There's really a lot good. Of flavors on. Really good. Real, like a lot of flavors. Bite number two. Mmm. Okay. I like the flavor, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not sure like what is in that, but it's definitely pink and it has the consistency of beef. The thing is, it really makes you feel like you're eating mm -hmm. uh, a, a beef burger because it looks like like I usually like to get my my meat medium rare, you know. It definitely is like a medium rare patty. But everything going on here, there's oh, like yeah. herbs. Mm -hmm. It tastes very rather than like. Yeah you know, very like meaty burger. It's a very like aromatic burger. There's a lot of flavors going on. <laughs> it doesn't feel like greasy or oil, mm. you know, like, like that. It feels healthy. The sauce is good. They don't put too much um, sauce in there. Mm. So you can taste the flavor of the meat. Everything about it is good. I would totally come here. I would totally eat it again. But I think the bun, it could be uh, a little bit crispier, um, like some, at some barbecues that I've been to, where they 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 grill the bun. You know, everything what I mean? else is so unique. Why stop at the bun? Right, right. That that's my my thought. And like, I would definitely agree with that. It does replicate. It does taste like meat. It, does it taste tastes like, like meat. Yeah. I guess in a full taste test, it might not be 100%. Mm -hmm. But I think it's amazing. The texture is amazing compared to, uh, com you know, a, the traditional vegetarian or Definitely. vegan burger. It sort of crumbles because it's made out of tofu or mm -hmm, beans. Mm -hmm. It just tastes good too though. It, it just tastes, tastes great. Good. Like, and it, to, to know that it's healthier definitely. than a traditional burger, like, definitely. I would definitely eat this, you know, anytime. Yeah. I might be partial because I do prefer vegetarian burgers, mm -hmm. but this taste is great. The flavor is great. What they've done with it, I think, is really unique. And the fact that they were able to accomplish this with just vegan items. Impossible. Nothing is impossible. Done. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed our review of the Impossible Burger. Um, you can check us out on our social media to see what else we're up to. Um, you can check out Lauren at her Instagram handle, Lauren Zhao, that's Z-H-O-U. You can check out Alfred at his Alfred Rocks, A-L-F-R-E-D-R-O-C-K-S. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bye.